Liz Truss is eyeing an ambitious trade deal with China which one expert estimates could be worth up to £80 billion, with the International Trade Secretary suggesting a clear-eyed approach to the communist superpower's human rights record had the potential to yield results. Ms. Truss, who has already sewn up deals worth more than £200 billion with third countries around the world since Britain quit the bloc, was asked about the prospect of striking an agreement with Beijing during a webinar organized by the Conservative Home Web site this week. And she indicated that while an agreement was possible, Britain and the West would not overlook the plight of the Uyghurs in the west of the country, or draconian new laws in Hong Kong. Ms. Truss, the Tory MP for South West Norfolk, said, of course we've got to trade with China. Of course, also a lot of our allies, whether it's the United States, the EU, Japan, all trade with China. And there are plenty of areas that are not strategic where we need to increase our trade with China and vice versa. However, we have made the move on our 5G network to avoid high-risk vendors, and we do need to make sure that we're challenging China's behavior at the World Trade Organization. She added, there's also the issue of forced technology transfer. There's also the issue of IP violations. And those are issues where Britain should not be acting alone. We should be working with allies, including the EU, including the United States, including the CPTPP nations to shape the global rules. So we are clear-eyed about China, but of course we have to trade with China and we have to work with our allies to help ensure that China is abiding by the global trade rules. Conservative Home Editor Paul Goodman asked Mrs. Truss about attempts by the House of Lords to insert an amendment into the trade bill passed this year forcing the government to withdraw from any free trade agreement with any country which the High Court rules is committing genocide. She replied, it is fundamentally a foreign policy issue. The issue though is the way that the amendment has been framed does muddy the constitutional waters in terms of what's a political decision and what's the court decision, so of course, we have all what has been going on in Xinjiang and we've taken strong action against it. The issue is the role of parliament versus the role of the court, so we put forward an amendment which is about giving parliament greater powers to scrutinize and look at the issue of genocide rather than handing the role to the UK courts. Thank you.